Ed, welcome to the hot desk. What's up? How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah. Good. good. Uh, are you feeling intimidated by the hot desk? I kind of feel desk? like I'm at a job interview. Well, it kind of is. But I don't a know job if I'm interviewing you. you. Well, I'm yeah. asking the questions here, so oh, yeah. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah. Do you want to play a game? This is called Would You Rather. Yeah. So it's a Would You Rather. Would you rather be able to speak every language there is or have the ability to speak to all animals? No, because I can imagine animals like, I'd like to speak every language there is because I can imagine animals don't really have a lot to say. You never know. Yeah. Do you think? I'm dog sitting this dog at the yeah. moment. What this type of dog? A little dog? It's the one that looks like an Ewok. I don't know what it is. Like a t t I found a picture of it. Mm. <laughs> um, um, anyway, you're not it, feeling it? No, it's just like, well, the dog's really excited. It's just like, <laughs> and I don't think it's saying much other than, hi, 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 <laughs> hi. This, this dog. Oh. Yeah. That's not the actual dog. No, but it looks like that. Can that's you see that's it? the dog in an Ewok costume. But I was like, why did you dress the dog dog up as an Ewok? Why wouldn't you? Look look at them. Oh god. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> Gangster. If why I, are you looking up on your phone? Ewok. Oh, this one. I like this one. Ewok dog. Just get your dog dressed up. So okay. we're looking after, and I just don't know if that dog has a lot to say. Okay, so we're gonna go with the ability to speak every language. Right. Would you rather be a dragon or have a dragon as a pet? It depends. Would it be a dragon like how to train your dragon dragon? And have be any dragon you want to be. Any dragon. Big one. Yeah, I'd like to have a pet. Pet okay. dragon. You seem like a happy guy. You need to read out these two jokes and not laugh. Can I have you do something straight? So these two jokes. <laughs> You've already laughed, man! Really funny. <laughs> <laughs> You've already ruined it, but we may as well tell the joke. What's Forrest Gump's password? One, Forrest, one. <laughs> That's genius. What did Jay-Z call his girlfriend before they get married? Fiance. Yeah, yeah, there it is. The Forrest Gump one got you The there. Forrest Gump one's funny, yeah. I'm going to do the UK versus the USA with things. You ready? Mm -hmm. So, uh, Kira Knightley or Natalie Portman? I really like both of them. I really, actually, I really, yeah, I think, I think they're tough both to see. Right? I need an answer, Ed, I'm sorry. Natalie Portman's in Star Wars, so. I love, I love Star yeah, Wars. Are you a Star uh, Wars no, fan? Are you yeah, excited about I'm, the new I'm a really big Pirates of the Caribbean fan as well, but yeah. Like no. one each? No, we'll no, go, we'll go, go, one, we'll okay. go Star Wars, sorry, uh, sorry Kira. Sorry, Kara. Jesse J or Nicki Minaj? I think Jesse, because I've I've never met Nicki Minaj. So she uh, kind of loses it because she's just never had the chance to meet you. She's well, crazy. no, I I was in radio one once and she walked past. And how was your experience of having Nicki Minaj walk past you? Just was the lot, air different? A lot of people there. It's like you don't really see her. You just see the kind of the wave. Nicki Minaj. Yeah. No, we're gonna go with Jesse. Okay, Jesse. Yeah. Spice Girls or Destiny's Child? Ooh. Oh, probably oh. Destiny's Child. I know. I'm just saying, like, if I was going to put on a song, at we a party, may have to stop talking now because really, I love Destiny's Child, but Spice Girls. What? Destiny's Child more so because if I was going to put on a song, it would be something like Survivor oh, or yeah. Independent Women. Is you that know, the type of music you listen to in your home? Right? Yeah, I am. A, I am a Survivor, and I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stop. Right. Uh, I don't even know what this. Stop. Harder. <laughs> If you could clone one person and shrink them into a tiny little person and bring them with you everywhere you go, kind of like a little guardian angel, um, who would you shrink down? Just to kind of help you get into the mindset of that, John, I brought... John Newman. John Newman? Yeah. There you go. You can just bring John Newman with you everywhere you go. Hello, mate. <laughs> how, how are you getting on? <laughs> how are your life choices working out for you? Yeah, he's... Um... Wouldn't you feel better with yourself? Like, if you had that, that comfort. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> That just happened. <laughs> it just undid it. Oh no. Yeah. Do you like his hair? I, d I do. Why have you done it blue? Who's it meant know. to be? I don't know. I didn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a massive props department, a huge budget. Yeah. Um, if you had, you can, you can keep them there if you want. If you had a day of invisibility. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is distracting me. I'm taking this away oh, from you. Right, okay. His pants won't even stay up anymore. <laughs> You're all right. He's scarred. Okay, here we go. You're flying around everywhere, Ed, and doing um, <laughs> doing so much different things, and you probably end up getting a lot of catering and things like that. I don't know if you have time to cook, but if you were to cook a nice meal, cook for me, for example, what would you cook me? I'd be banging pasta, but you'd, you'd have to be into spice. How spicy are we going to go now? I use a whole bottle of Tabasco. No. Like that, what else do you put in? Like a bit of cream or something? Just no, like... I mean, it's, 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 it's there's Big. like, I get, f okay, this is the thing, you get four things of Lloyd Grossman tomato and basil. <laughs> I, okay. I said you were like, I make the sauce from scratch, you just buy Lloyd Grossman. It's fancy. I, got, like, I did a thing for Jamie Oliver yesterday and I told him what I did and he was like, you do not make it from scratch. Is this a thing that people do? Yeah. You can just buy the sauce. What did Jamie Oliver think of your recipe? Well, I let him try it because I had it in a Tupperware box. So I carried yeah. it around <laughs> with me for people to taste. 
Do you have one today? Honey? No, it's in the fridge at home. I'm gonna have it when I go back. Oh. I just make so much. when I make it, I make like enough for like seven. Is that your only dish? Is that your dish? Your go-to dish? It's not my go-to dish. Okay. You know, I can I can like stick a rustlers in the microwave as okay. well. But I think you know that's my that's my creme de la creme. <laughs> What's in your fridge right now? Hendrix, nice. Hendrix gin, mm -hmm. tonic, cucumber, mm -hmm. uh, cream egg. Oh. Yeah. Well, there's actually about three cream eggs. Um, Milka and Oreo. Uh, Staple diet. Milk. Yeah. Um, is it is it fresh milk? It's almond milk. It's just a lot of alcohol, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Red Bull. Good. Robinson's fruit and barley, obviously. <laughs> Good bit of fruit in there. Right. We're going to play a game that we play on every single show, and it's called Call, Text, or Reject. So. So this is. Snog, married. Kind of like snog. No, no. This is a completely fresh idea that no one has ever thought of, Ed. Yeah. So you wake up one morning, you three missed calls on your phone. You're only allowed to call back one, text one, and the other one you're going to reject. There are uh, three people who want to do something with you for a weekend. So one is Miss Call from Taylor Swift. She wants to hang out and spend the weekend in Los Angeles. She's got loads of cool stuff planned. You don't know what, but she says cool stuff. Jay-Z and Beyonce have both called together because they just share the one phone. Um, they're inviting you to spend the weekend with them in New York. They've also got cool stuff planned. And then Harry Styles has also rang you. People just need to ring you all the time. They want you to chill in London for one weekend. Just chill out uh, and guess what? Loads of cool stuff planned. Who are you going to call back? Where do you want to go? So I'd call back... I'd call back Jay-Z and Beyonce because Taylor okay. wouldn't be annoyed if I didn't call her back. Okay. I'd just text Taylor. Taylor but you think Jay-Z and Beyonce are a bit pissed off? Why is it not? Yeah, and I, do, I just want to speak to them on the phone anyway just right. to be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's like that. And then I text Taylor, and yeah. then I would ignore Harry, but just go around his house and be like, let's hang out in London, because okay. I want to stay in London and hang out with my friends. So okay. I wouldn't, like, ignore him, but I'd just be like... You don't need to come back. There. I'll just turn up. I'll be there. Yeah. So that was I'll a really diplomatic way of answering. Really yeah. good. Well, there you go. We've come to the end of the hot desk. Well, I really enjoyed that. I feel really? like I didn't think there was more to learn about you, and yet I have learned a lot more. What have you learned? I absolutely have nothing. learned absolutely nothing. Absolutely. Well, I've learned that. <laughs> I'm gonna give this back to you because I feel like your life would be better with that. Um, I'm gonna ask you. Tattoos and stuff. I was gonna ask you to sign the, de the desk. John's got John's got one there, of something. And why not? There you there. go. Now, now he's definitely your mate. There we go. Nice going on. Perfect. Just chilling. Thank you. Do you want to sign the desk? Yes.